Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I'm excited because I have a bunch of new makeup to test out with you today and try. I stopped into my local Blue Mercury store, I got my little baggie here, <laughs> and my go-to guy was working, his name is Caden, and he's always the one I go to at my local store because he is just so patient and knowledgeable and he always offers me really great suggestions. So I went in there and I was like, okay Caden, what is new? What is everybody loving? What is great for mature skin? You know, I threw all the questions at him and he directed me to a few products that he says are just kind of like best sellers. And then I I wandered around and I shopped at other counters like Jane Iredell, which I've grown an immense obsession for this year. And I picked up a few products that seemed really interesting to me there. So overall, I have a collection of brand new products to test out and try with you guys, along with a couple of products that I restocked, but in different shades. So let's just play in some makeup today. I do want to mention that I have my foundation on right now and I'm wearing the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I'm wearing this today because it's, well, it's one of my favorites, but I'm filming this morning and then I'm going to my cousin's house for a tea party and then I'm coming back home and hosting a few of Kate's little friends for a sleepover and we're doing all the things, all the activities. So I have a busy day of just kind of go, go, go. And I wanted a foundation that looked good for filming, obviously, but that also I could rely on to look good all day and I didn't have to touch up. And I love this one and I'm the shade 7.5. And then for concealer, I just have a little bit of the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Cover Concealer. I do want to thank Blue Mercury for sponsoring this video. They're having their President's Day event. So everything that I'm going to share with you guys now, if you are a Blue Rewards loyalty member, you can get 20% off a purchase of $200 or more. So Blue Rewards loyalty is basically like their complimentary membership program. If you're not a member, it's easy to sign up. I'll actually have a link in the description box below. It's a free program. You don't have to pay anything to join, but you accumulate points and you have access to early events throughout the year and you have savings on special events like this. So early access for that starts on the 16th and it's 9 p.m. Eastern for early access online only. And then it's open in store and online from the 17th through the 20th. I'm going to have the code right here for you guys. It's 20 off. So everything I'm sharing, you can get for 20% off you guys, if you spend 200 or more. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with brows. I did pick up a new brow product from Bobbi Brown. This is their perfectly defined long wear brow pencil. And I grabbed the shade Saddle, which actually is, when I think of the word saddle, I think of something that's a little more warm. But when I was comparing all the shades, this looked like the best shade for me. So it has a nice long kind of angled tip kind of reminds me of like the Charlotte Tilbury or the Nastasia Beverly Hills pencils like this. I like that it has a pointy tip so you can get a little hairline strokes. Kaden was telling me you can use that to get hairline strokes, but if you also want to use the flat side, you can get, you know, more of a thicker kind of powder like finish. So I'm just going to use the flat side and I'm going to go and kind of shape the bottom of my brow. Okay, this is nice. It's having really good color payoff. And I like that it's a little thinner up, up top. So when you're doing the tail of your brow, you can still use the flat side and still get a nice little sharp point there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the tip of it to kind of create some hair like strokes right here to fill in. I don't really have much hair there. Anything you see is kind of left over from microblading years ago. Now this is a good color. I'm using a really light pressure. When I'm using brow products or brow pencils, I like to use a really light pressure just so it looks more natural. Especially when you're creating like hair like strokes or you want it to look like hair. You want to have really light pressure and almost kind of like flick the pencil up. I'm going to take the spoolie just to run it through. This is a great way to just soften the brow if you feel like it's a little too strong and obviously comb the brow hairs up. So my lips are super dry. I'm going to just kind of prep them with this product that I picked up. It's by Terry and it's the Dare to Bear is the name of the shade. It's the Hyaluronic Hydra Balm. I was swatching these in stores and they felt beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is stunning. I love that. I love the little stamp in there. So when I swatched these in stores, it was a pretty pigmented, but highly glossy and hydrating lippy. My lips are so dry right now, you guys. I'm having allergies right now, so I'm super congested. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This feels amazing. So it actually has great color. I would actually wear this alone. The only reason I'm using it today to prep is because I did pick up another lipstick that I'm dying to try. So I wanted to be able to show and try both of these products, but this is totally a product that I would wear alone. It's a balm, but it's pigmented in color. This looks like a lipstick. It's so beautiful and this feels amazing. This is impressive. I like this. This is, oh, this is good. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's add some dimension and color to the face. Super excited about this product. This is the J Jane Iredell Great Shape Contour Kit. I got the shade Warm. So these are a nice sleek little mini palettes. Inside of it, you get a setting powder, you get a blush color, and you get a bronzer color. I'm gonna use the setting powder and the bronzer today because I did pick up, and I'll swatch the blush for you, but I did pick up a cream blush that Kaden recommended. 
good that I'm dying to try. So we're gonna use this today as far as blush color. But let's go ahead and go in and set underneath the eyes and the center of the face with a little bit of the powder. So I'm gonna just use my little BK Beauty 108 brush and I'm just gonna go and softly set the center of the face and underneath the eyes. I have really grown such an, a love for Jane Iredell this year. I think this is a brand that is very underrated in terms of you don't really see it talked about or promoted much here in the beauty community, and I don't understand why, because it is one of the best brands I have tried consistently. One of the best brands that consistently has pro every product that I try, I love. All right, so let's go ahead and go in and add a little bronzer. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 107. I'm just gonna tap it lightly. I don't know how dark this is. I don't know how much it's gonna pay off, so I don't wanna pick up too much product. And I'm just gonna press the brush onto my skin to deposit it. It was really difficult for me to decide which I wanted to do, the warm or the cool, because the cool was a good shade range for me too. Instead of having a peachy blush, it had more of a cool tone pink, which is a you know shade I enjoy as well, like a real everyday shade. But ultimately, I decided to go with the warm. Just gonna brush a little bronzer there. Okay, so this is nice. It has a good pigment payoff, but it's not too much. It's blending out really beautifully and easily. I think the bronzer is a really good shade. It's very warm. Okay, so I'm gonna try this blush. This is the Kira Weiss blush, and this is the shade Blossoming. So what's really neat about this brand is that it's really sustainable. So you purchase the blush pan, and then you purchase the packaging, and they have two options for packaging. I went with the more economical option. I think this little palette was $8, but they also have a really beautiful magnetic palette that is very heavy and weighted. That one was just a little over 20, I believe. So you have the option of purchasing this or that to fill your product. Caden kept raving about these blushes and he's done it on more than one occasion. So this time I was like, okay, Caden, I'm gonna try this blush. <laughs> and this shade to me was the, I was like, what's the best seller? And I went with this one just because it's a great kind of everyday peachy rosy shade. I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 108 and I'm just going to apply it right on the cheeks pressing the brush into the skin. I like that it doesn't off the bat apply too much color and it's super easy to blend out. It has a nice luminosity to it like most cream blushes, but I would say it's a little bit more on the creamier side. I think there's like a variation of creaminess to cream blush products and this is definitely more on the creamier side, but it feels lightweight. Yeah, it feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or thick. Ooh, that is gorgeous. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my cheeks. I, I feel like I need a little more. Maybe it's because I'm getting over being sick, but I just feel like my skin needs a little more life. Give me a little more. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. And it really does blend out so easily. Like the more you kind of bounce your blush or your brush on the skin, the more it blends out and shears out. So it's very, very easy to work with. Okay, this is nice. I really like this. Thank you for recommending this, Kaden, if you're watching this. So next, let's move into eyes. Now, I'm really excited to share this one with you guys because Jane Iredell had this collection of these little tiny mini eyeshadow palettes. I don't know exactly how many were. I want to say there was at least like four or six of them, but they're literally like three shadows that are color coordinated to all work well with each other. And I was just thinking, I was like, if there is like a travel palette, this is it. You know, like this is probably the most optimal travel palette I have ever seen. It's very basic, of course. This isn't for, you know, if you like to wear a ton of shadows or have a lot of different shadows to play with, this isn't what I'd recommend. But if you're pretty basic and just want the basics to create a simple, quick eye, I thought this would be great. So I got the shade Cognac, and I think it's a great, just everyday kind of basic shade range. You got some warm little peaches in here. So we're gonna use this to create an eye look and we're gonna keep it pretty simple. So I'm first gonna go in with the lightest little champagne shade here. I'm grabbing my 203 BK Beauty brush and we are gonna use this to pack on product onto the lid. It's a nice, soft, peachy shade. It's a little warmer and a little more peachy than like a traditional champagne shade, which I like. It's not real bright. I like that it has a little bit of a soft peach tone to it. I think it's more versatile for different skin tones. This will work on lighter skin tones and it'll work on deeper skin tones as well. That's pretty because it has just the right amount of peach and warmth to it. And I'm also gonna take this shade right underneath the brow. This might be a little too deep for underneath my brow. Yeah, it kind of is. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go back into my Jane Iredell palette and I'm gonna take my pressed powder and I'm gonna use that to go over it and brighten it up. Next, I'm gonna go in and start to build some definition in the crease. So I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade here and I'm using a large fluffy crease brush. This is just gonna start to create a little dimension in my crease. I'm a little extra puffy today from just congestion in my head, from allergies. So my eyelids always see that when I'm puffy, I, my crease just completely disappears. So we're gonna go in there and create a little more of a crease. Because this shade's on the lighter side, I'm using a large crease brush because I don't have to worry about controlling so much where that product goes. It can spread out in a larger surface area and still look good. Next, I'm gonna take the deepest shade and I'm taking a smaller crease brush 
and we're gonna work this just on the outer corner. This is gonna kind of connect the crease and the uh, lash line, and then I'm gonna work it right into the outer corner just to add a little more definition there. Perfect. Okay, that's perfect. Do you see? This eye is just a great everyday, simple, basic eye. There's really not a lot of fuss or thought that has to go into this. This palette is so easy and simple to work with. The other shade ranges they had, it was kind of similar in terms of like a great obvious lid color, a crease and then an outer corner. Some of the trio combinations were more jewel tones, which would be a great like accessory palettes to add to something like this. But I really like to find the ones that have a good lid, crease and corner shade. I think that those are the most practical palettes. Okay, so now that I have the eyeshadow on, I do want to top it with something fun. So I love this formula from Bobbi Brown. This is the Lux Eyeshadow Rich Metal Eyeshadow, and I own this in the shade Moonstone, and it is so beautiful. They had the shade Melting Point on the display, and I had to get it as well. So this is what the shade looks like. It's a really beautiful, like super shiny, peachy shade. What I love about this formula is though, even though it's highly reflective, it's very sheer. So it's not a heavy foiled shadow at all. It's a very sheer formula. So it, it works great on top of shadow like I'm doing now. And I just like to use my finger. I find that my finger is the best tool, even over a brush. So I'm just gonna press this on top of the lightest shade. It coordinates well with that lighter shade. It's about the same level of intensity, but the shimmer is what is, makes this shadow super special. So this is just a great shadow to add to any look that you're doing. If you're on the warm side, if you're on the cool side, I would probably do Moonstone. Okay, next let's line the eyes, and I picked up the Lunar and Aster Dawn Till Dusk Gel Eyeliner, and this is the shade Copper. And Caden was telling me that this pencil they can hardly keep in stock in their store. He said this is definitely one of their best sellers. I also want to mention that it comes with a pencil sharpener when you purchase it, so that's kind of neat. I'm gonna lay the pencil on its side and create my line because it's a nice brand new pencil. It's very easy to work with. Once I get here to the outer corner, I'm gonna use the tip and I'm gonna kind of give a slight little wing up. I'm not gonna go too high with that wing. Because this is a pencil, it's difficult to get a really crisp wing liner. So what I'm just gonna do is just slightly angle it out a little bit. This is a really soft formula, but once it sets, it stays in place. So it's a great liner to use if you wanna do that trick where you line the eye and then you grab a brush and kind of wing it out. I went a little thicker on that side, so we need to even things out over here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of smooth things out. You have a little time to work with this if you wanna do that, like if you wanna smoke it or smudge it out, but it does dry a little quicker, so you wanna work quickly. Okay, perfect, so I got a nice thick line there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and lower the, or line the lower lash line with this pencil, but I'm only gonna go halfway, so from the outer corner to about halfway over. I rarely like to line my entire eye on my lower lash line because my eyes are a little bit smaller and it'll make them look even, it'll kind of close them up. So I'm gonna keep it about halfway and I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush and just run it on top of the liner. I'm not adding any shadow to it and I'm doing this before it has time to set. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and curl the lashes. I restocked the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. This is a really beautiful, dramatic mascara. It gives a lot of length and volume, but it gives it in this very wispy way. So I'm gonna start at the base of my lashes and wiggle my brush back and forth while my eyes are closed. This is the best way to get the most dramatic results from your mascara. Rather than just kind of softly coating like this, really place the wand right through to the lashes, close the eye, wiggle it back and forth to get that product off the wand and onto the lashes and then pull up. And once you've done that, then you can kind of pull up and run that mascara through the lashes. I really love this mascara. It definitely gives volume, but it doesn't clump and it makes the lashes look full and wispy. And I'm gonna take my time to really build this mascara. This is one that you can build and build and it really doesn't get clumpy. Do you see that? I mean, to me, that looks like a really nice, soft, false lash. That's what it looks like. This is such a pretty mascara. This, again, is an underrated mascara. I don't really see many people talking about this mascara, but this is so beautiful. This is gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I picked this up to share it with you. I've used this in the past and I remember sharing it with you guys then, but you know, we're always trying new products and sometimes some of our favorites get forgotten about, but this is so gorgeous. And this is with no lash primer, none. I have no lash primer on, which I normally always apply lash primer. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful, gorgeous. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and move on to the final product, which is lips. I almost hate taking this off, but because this has so much color, I feel like unless I'd remove it, you won't really be able to see what the next product looks like like. I'm just gonna kind of blot that off. So I grabbed one of the new Hourglass lipsticks. This is the Unlocked lipstick, and I grabbed the shade Tide 302. I do want to just 
take a moment and recognize the packaging on this product. It is absolutely stunning and beautiful. You know, I'm not necessarily one that has to have beautiful packaging as long as the product performs, but when you do have something beautiful and special, it's nice to just appreciate it. When I swatched these on the counter, they were super pigmented, very creamy. Oh my gosh, just so, so pigmented. This is what the shade looks like. It's just a good neutral kind of beigey nude. Oh, so pretty. There was another shade that was very similar on the hand, but a little more warm and slightly deeper than this shade. Ooh, that just reminds me of a good classic, like 90s nude lip. So pretty. And this is the finished look. I really love it. It's soft every day. Let's talk about the products that particularly stood out to me that really just wowed me. So I definitely want to say I wish I grabbed it sooner on this Kira Weiss blush in the shade Blossoming. Super beautiful, very easy to work with, versatile. I feel like the application that I have now is about a moderate level of pigment, but you can build it to get more or you can keep it really natural. This is gorgeous. I will pick this up in more shades. This by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Balm. Wow, this was probably my favorite discovery of the day. It's so beautiful. I almost wanna put a little on top of this lipstick. I know you guys, I know but it's, it feels so nice. It's got a great amount of pigment and it just feels amazing on the lips. It has a shine, but it's lightweight. I wouldn't necessarily call it glossy. It's just shiny in the color. This particular color, Dare to Be, is beautiful. So I want to give major props to this. This lipstick from Hourglass, really love the formula. Highly pigmented, but lightweight. Doesn't feel thick or heavy on the lips, but all you need really is one swipe. I have the shade Tide 302 on my lips, which is a nice kind of like muted beige nude. I want to pick it up in another color. I did feel like they were lacking some, I wanted just a good kind of cool tone medium pink and I didn't really feel like I saw that there. So I'm gonna go back and check out the shades and see what other shade I wanna add to my collection that's a good everyday shade that I can wear. Yeah, what else did I love? I mean, I really enjoyed all the products, but those are the products that really jumped out at me. I'll have everything that I used listed and linked in the description box below for you guys. But yeah, if you pick up anything, you guys, this blush, and this product will will knock your socks off. Just saying, just saying. Oh, and this mascara, you guys, it's an oldie, but such a goodie. I mean, look at these lashes. I love how they look. They look, they're not necessarily more dramatic than any other mascara. It's just length, volume, and wispy. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to explain like what I love more about this mascara, but it's just like a nice wispy full lash. It, to me, it looks like a natural false lashes on my eyes. And I promise, I promise I have no false lashes on. Really love this mascara. So thank you guys for hanging out with me today. All the products that I use will be listed in the description box. And again, don't forget about the President's Day event at Blue Mercury where you can save 20% off. I'll have all the details to the event and promotion in the description box below and where to sign up to be a Blue Rewards loyalty member if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!